Meet Vader, son of Hulk, Lord of the Dark Side. Lord of the Dark Side. Today we have the ultimate test. Let's see if he can perform when it counts the most. This is not a game now. Does he have what it takes, right? Is he gonna bite? Ah! Ah! Vader, you're supposed to catch them! This is Vader. He's a little over a year old. He's off of Hulk and Portia. He's owned by a couple in uh, Texas. Meet Vader, Lord of the Dark Side. So a lot of people think what we do is just for the cameras, but this dog training we do is a serious business. So he's come back for real protection training. They've, the family has been through some uh, traumatic experiences in their past, so they truly need the protection for their own peace of mind. So being Hulk's son, we can see a lot of similarities in him uh, as his dad. He's a very powerful dog. He's ready to work when he needs to, and he's also a very sweet dog as well. And he's not even done grown yet. So we're gonna be doing home protection, uh, personal protection. I'm gonna be taking his sister Storm to the vet, but Marlon and Karina are gonna take Vader up to the training room. Let, listen, let me tell you something about bike club. You can't get up this ramp, you can't train, period. Can't train, can't film, can't nothing. Today we have the ultimate test. Let's see if he can perform when it counts the most. The training that we're gonna do today is gonna determine whether a Vader is suitable for protection work or not. Is this dog balanced? Main thing. Like, is he a dog that I can send out into the public? Does he have what it takes, right? Is he gonna bite? Is he gonna commit to the bite? <laughs> He's friendly, you know what I mean? Like he's fine with me, he's normal. Like everything is normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend to be the attacker and I'm gonna see how it reacts now that he's had a bit more training. Oh, oh. Good boy. Good boy. This was the first time that we allowed the cameras to film us training with you know, somebody else's dog. So it's a bit different. I'm really kind of pushing the boundary of him. Oh, 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 that dog will bite for real. 100% that dog will bite you. Yeah, I'm not going to stick my hand in his mouth, but if you wanted to, you could. But I promise you, look it. Look, that dog will bite you. All right, good. Let him good walk boy. around for a second. Walk him up to me. Good boy. Come here. There we go. Good boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Yeah, good. Everything's good. Oh, boy. And there's a lot of different reasons why people, you know, want protection dogs. You can be in a, you know, situation where you're, you know, out and about, you need a dog with you, you know, it, it can be something for you travel a lot, you want to have your dog at home, you know, with the family. Um, you know, there's a lot of different types of situations where, you know, people need, you know, protection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that ain't no bull. And, and here oh, we can boy. show you that it's 100% civil, a word that we, I don't know if we've highlighted. But civil meaning there is zero equipment involved in this training. I'm not, I'm not making noise with nothing. I'm just walking up to the dog. She's giving him the command and he will be on guard. Tell him. Tell him. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Dark side. Now we're going to give him a bite because he's real frustrated. Oh, used to releasing the equipment, which is good. So basically like, I need him to start to understand to double sleeve, you know, which is basically teaching him to not hold equipment and to come off and on to the next bite. You know, which in turn will teach him if the perp drops the jacket, drop the jacket, chase the ass. That's the overall um, you know, idea behind that. Chase that ass. I'm over here. Here's where the threat is. So it's just, it's just like I said, this is not a game now. So it's real serious that he understands. Hey, oh! Hey! So yeah, so overall, I mean, I, you know, very happy with Vader, doing very well. So, you know, now I'm gonna just bring in a hidden sleeve and uh, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna confirm that, you know, no equipment, you know, this dog is ready to bite. An attacker is not gonna be wearing any equipment. So Marlon will tease him without the sleeve and see if he actually like jumps and lunges at him.
If you were gonna rob me, like, are, are you gonna like come with a bite sleeve on or a suit and try to like, uh, no, right? So it's important that a dog sees reality as much as possible. Now, so now, hey! So now we're gonna, we're gonna test if I put my arm in his mouth, what would happen, right? So, ready? I'm gonna stick this arm, no protection in his mouth. Ready? You ready? Ready? Just kidding. Vader's. <laughs> He came close to bite me today. My finger kind of rolled into his mouth one time. I could feel his like jowl closing, you know, as I had, but you know, it's just, it's just, it's part of the game. You know, it's like a dangerous dance. It's like, you know, watching somebody try to subdue the cobra into the little basket, you know what I mean? So that's just what I do. Very, very good. You win, I lose. You're the winner, I'm the loser. Mm -hmm. Force is strong with you, it is. Mm. All right, so now, what I want to do that's important is walk him up, walk, let him come up to me over here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Hi, buddy. Good Hi, boy. Buddy. Good, good job. Yeah, overall is good. You know, he, he showed progress in the areas that I wanted him to show progress in. Coming off the bike quickly, you know, and re-engaging re the threat, very important. So yeah, overall, yeah, I mean, he did great. He did great. Good job, Vader. Dark side. I think the client's gonna feel very safe with Vader around. Yeah, I mean, A plus for him. He did really good. A plus for him. And A plus for Karina, too. We'll give her an A plus, too. See, guys, I am nice at the end of the day. A plus for Lisa, too, even though she wasn't in it. Yeah, everybody gets A's and a plus sign. Even though Vader is not a finished product yet, he's already shaping up to potentially be one of the best dogs that I've ever trained. You have passed the test, young bad one, Werner. <laughs>